It's nice to meet you again. Yes. And uh, there are some questions which uh, are on the minds of our uh, readers. And the most important is that it's now the racing season. Uh, mm -hmm. And you have now just brought out the uh, Millennium with your own in-house movement. Can you tell us a bit more about your plans for the classic range? Does this complete your circle? Do you have more to do with the racing watches? Well, I think after having sponsored the Mini Media for over 25 years, <clears throat> it's about time that the first Mini Media chronograph comes out with our own engine. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that's really a, a great accomplishment of our team. And, um, you know, based on the uh, chronograph movement that we initially made for the NVC uh, Chrono One, mm -hmm. which was already presented in 2006. Um, we finally have the uh, chronograph movement ready for the classic racing series, which uh, this has always been my dream, so it's, it's a dream come true. You have finished now because you have the super fast with your own movement, you have your Mille Liga with your own movement. Uh, what about the Grand Prix, historic of Monaco? Well, uh, you know, it, it, it would, would not be fun if uh, we, we had already accomplished everything, so um, obviously you put your your finger right on the <laughs> on the dot and uh, yes we will. we have to we have to we will not forget the Grand Prix during the Monaco but uh, again some things take time. One of the concerns of the collectors is that if you were to introduce your own movements in every watch that you make that you might not be able to produce enough movements. How is that coming along in Fleuriac now? Well, you know, with Fleury Ebosch, our, you know, what, what I call industrial arm, um, we, we do have a bigger capacity of production than we, than we initially had. So, you know, as we go along, we will, uh, we will have more capacity. Um, although today capacity is still limited. And finally, I notice on your wrist uh, a very special watch that I think very few people have actually seen. Would you like to tell us a little bit more? Well, it's very few people who will see this watch actually on my wrist. That's true. Mm -hmm. It is the um, Ferdinand Berthoud chronometer uh, FP1, which um, uh, we are launching tonight here in London. And um, another great event, indeed. But we'll talk more about that in another time, I'm sure. Okay. But maybe a sneak peek for our viewers. Actually, on the wrist. Amazing. I think it's an amazing watch. Thank you so much. Thank you.